fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? It's the NFL Draft. I want to know down in the comments right now, are you happy with what your team did in the first round? Let me know. And before Omicron comes here, yeah, he's one of our regulars. I don't hear nothing about Jalen Carter and Nolan Smith. Yes, they're good. Yes, they're amazing for you. Damn it. Damn it. Anyway, let's talk Star Trek Fleekman. That's something that we all like, right? And I want to talk today about strategies, and we do this a lot. But in particular, I want to talk about the loyalty chest. We're going to talk about the seven-day and the 30-day. When should you pull them? Should you save them? What should you do with them? And how much do they give you? So we're going to start with one truth. Now, I'm curious if everybody agrees with this truth, and I haven't even talked to the people on Discord about this. This is just my opinion. But I am of the mind you should always pull the seven-day chest. No matter where you're at, no matter what level you are, always, always, always pull the seven days. It's allowing you to get more resources per week and also giving these allegiance tokens or what we call photon tokens because that was their original name when they were being rolled out two years ago on like server 51. So we've got these, you always want to pull this. If you're level 15, Rev recommends pulling. If you're level 25, Rev recommends pulling. 35, Rev recommends pulling. 45, Rev recommends pulling. I pull these every opportunity that I get. You will get these every seven days if you are actually doing your loyalty pulls. And then that brings up this box, which this actually could be a very critical box in terms of should I camp it? Should I pull it? How long should I sit on these? When should I go about that? Because of the varied rewards from them. Now I will say that I like the rewards from them. If I have one complaint, literally only one, I would probably say that no minor parts. It's a little annoying because you got like, if you're a level 39 player going to 40 plus, you want those meridians are going to need, you know, ship parts. If you do decide that you want the four star miners, they need it. So it's all warship focused, but generally I think it's good. And I can argue that, yeah, I'd like more here for today's economy, but still it is what it is. Now you're looking at mine going Rev. I would love to have yours, but I'm not your level and fine. Here's what we do. Rotate the screen. Now, if you're curious where you can find these graphics, let me go ahead and tell you where. First of all, you can find it in my Discord. My Discord will have these posted. But these graphics are actually put together by a very useful tool that is a Discord bot called Data. Now, it is created by a German content creator, but they also speak English, and you can pull this information up if you want to use it. We'll give you all that in my Discord. Just join it. Link is in the description of this video. So let's start talking about when and where you should pull, what has value. Now, this is focusing on the 30 day chest, just the 30 days. And you'll notice that starting at level 15, you get the, the ceiling rods, 360 a pop. And that stays consistent throughout the entire run. Like we're going to go all the way to level 60 and you're still going to be getting 360, which is okay. So we're going to keep pulling that and look. Now, uh, for whatever reason, Op 17 is missing from this. I'm assuming it's the same incremental jump, but it's missing from the current chart. We'll try to pull that information from you or for y'all later. But anyway, <laughs> if you see the Latinum stays at 180 and then jumps up to 230, you also see the G2s, the recruit tokens. When it comes to the 30-day chest, I would wait till at least, at least level 15 to start, but I'd actually push people to probably be at least... 18 to 20. The reason being though is look at the G2 materials. It's not paying out a ton of G2. You don't need a ton of G2. And what I actually find is probably more beneficial to players if we're saving is to hold off and wait until coming over here. Now, why do I change it up even more? I actually am of the mind that you save up these 30 day chests until level 23. Why did I pick random 23 out of all the levels? Well, a few things change in the 20s. Number one, for the players that are in the 20s and 30s, your packs and your loyalty stuff and a lot of things will change every two levels. You'll see 20 through 22, 20 through 25, etc. You get things that are bracketed in these uh, level ranges instead of being every level. So being, you know, kind of tactical with where you choose to do some of your upgrades can be very, very advantageous to you and your account. So if you look at 23, you start sourcing the Devor there. You also have an event that rolls every Monday, starting at level 23, making the Devor a lot faster to acquire than it used to be. 
though the parse grind is still absolutely horrid for it and that hasn't improved at all. Scopely, please make that happen. She's really getting on my gosh nerves that is not fixed yet. Anyway, I felt like beeping it because I can. So 23 would be the first where I actually start pulling my 30 days. You can do it earlier, but I'd recommend that you at least consider waiting because you see the broken to ceiling rods are the same, but your repair speed ups, you're getting better repair speed ups in general because you got the three one days coming in for regular speed ups. I like that value. I mean, it's not the most amazing, but the big thing is the Devore that you can start sourcing. You also finally start getting rare G3, which is needed. I guess, you know, getting one rare G3 a month is not that big of a deal, but if you had saved and now you're getting, say, four months worth, or let's just say three months, you could probably, as a brand new player, two to three months to get 20 plus. But if you wait till 23, let's just say three months, that means you'd be getting 150 uncommon G3 immediately and then a handful of rares. Cool. Well, let's talk about where would you go next? Like at 23, once I've gotten my ship, where do I pull from there? 23 through 25, do I save it again? Personally, I actually would save it. So if you look on the chart, look at how things start increasing. It's not a huge jump, but you do start seeing jumps at where you get into the 30s and those pulls get bigger and bigger. Now you always need uncommons. If you look at 23, you're only getting 50. And if you've managed to get what you need and your next camping spot is 25, the only ship that really needs some of that uncommon is going to be your Badar. You don't really have enough, uh, a lot that other is going to require, but just a little bit goes to some other specialty ships. But after that, you probably don't need it until you hit 28, 29. So you're going to skip 26, 27 and probably save 20, 29. That's probably another month or two at least for most players in saving. But anyway, this is use this chart on your value, your discretion. And then you look at the upper 30s, and I understand why everybody's going to be pulling at 34, 35, but then maybe you save until 38, 39. Just doing it in jumps, because when you're leveling, you probably want to get the most bang for your buck in like big increments, and that's what you get if you are saving these chests and then, you know, turning them in when you need them. Now, the only thing that can maybe alter that a little bit is if you're out there saying, hey, I really, 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 really want to get the treasury this month. And if you need to get the treasury by turning in for the broken and rods, it makes sense. But I will say that not every level range will you have the same level of bottleneck when it comes to uncommons. That's something you have to think about, especially if you're in the 30s. 34 and 35 are a lot heavier in terms of research, buildings, and ships than 36 and 37, which for the most part are kind of like skip through levels for most players. Yeah, you have, you know, Cerritos you're working on. Some people are going to pick up the ISS jelly, but we don't Recommend working on that early on. Can't build it till 39, but you'll start picking up the BPs. There's just not a ton there. But if you wait, those two levels, 38, 39, are going to pay you out a lot more. But let's move on because this is not just where it stops. Because another place people like to do is level 40. Reason being, look here. Not only do you have the divorce parts, we start getting uncommon four-star ship parts. That's huge. Sadly, no surveys. Just regular warships but you're getting g4 material you're actually getting g4 epics this is a great opportunity like if you waited and you saved up a couple months you hit 40 plus and turn in bam you're getting a lot let's say you had four months and you'd get 1600 uncommon of each g4 type hell yeah right that's great it's not just that though there's more the ship parts you're going to need you know you look at the rares having some rare sourcing but you also keep G3 sourcing at the same time. So a lot of value if you're at 39 going, hey, should I spend them now or wait a level? You hit 39, it makes sense. You'd probably drop a month or two in here. But if you had a few months saved and you had camped at 39 for you know three months, if that, that really helps out. And then let's continue to use this chart to say, okay, where do we save from here? Now, if you look, not a ton changes for the boxes in the 40s. Basically, nothing changes except the Latinum. So when it comes to that, the whole should I hold them, you're not you know, noticing a massive difference in what you're getting month to month. So you saw mine in the background where I'm getting, I think, what, 440? Because I hit 46. You see a small increase of the uncommons as you get closer. But it's nothing drastic. The rares stay the same. The epics stay the same. And you get incremental changes here and there. So once you hit the 40s, you can really kind of spend it as you want because you're not hurting yourself 
And the Latinum maybe is not a reason to really save. I don't know how many people are going to focus on the Latinum as a reason to save, but everything else is basically the same with slight changes when you get to the mid-40s. So I would say in the 40s, saving them doesn't really matter. Now, I did talk about when you're at level 49, maybe saving for going 50+. plus, Just like we talked about if you're 39. So here's what happens when you go 50+. plus. You start getting everything that you were getting before, but now G5s are included. Now, is it a ton of G5s? No. And I will say that I do expect this to get updated when 6-star rolls out for the 5-star stuff to pay out more. It's part of the reason I made that recommendation in my Camping at 49 video, because I'm looking to the future. I know the G5 economy is going to get boosted, but probably not until they release G6. So there you go. Here's what everything pays out. The best value for the 30-day chest is definitely found, in my opinion, between 23 and about 43. And after that, it's not as big of a deal, except for the ceiling rods. Everything else kind of feels like it falls off in value based on what you're already getting in the game. But that's a sweet spot of 23 to 43, about 20 levels of good value. And then hopefully we get value updated later on and maybe parts of this video becomes obsolete. If this video helps you out though, help me out. Join the Discord, come chat with us. Link's in the description. I'll even put the link uh, pinned as our top comment because I know some of y'all are actually you know, needing to check out some of this information. So you can come get it in our Discord and I appreciate you. Live long and prosper. Stay safe for their space cowboys deuces that's me let me know if you need any help with anything down below i know a lot of y'all are asking about this information so hopefully it helps you be better let me know in the comment section down below catch you on the next one we love you we're out and uh yeah come join us on twitch bye an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house